Page 27, The Dragon. The top of the power on this page, I should say, there's a little box off to the left there, where they're introducing a new symbol, a music symbol that you get to learn. It's called a sharp sign. It's that tic-tac-toe thing. My generation, we would call it a tic-tac-toe thing, or a pound sign, or a number sign. It could be, represent any of that. In today's generation, when I'm recording this, it would be known as a hashtag. And it has a specific purpose. It alters the note slightly. Now we're going to start using the black keys up here. So, Hang on to your socks, or get some new socks or something, because it's about to get even more interesting. You see, on the keyboard, you already know the names of the keys on the keyboard. Because if you don't know them by now, you really need to go back and start the book again. So I'm going to assume you know the names of the keys on the keyboard. Uh, what we want to do with a sharp is we're going to take whatever the key is, say it's a C, Forget the music, I'm just talking keyboard here. And it's going to take it up, one key on the keyboard, up. Up means going up that direction. Down would go that way. That down's that way. Up up one, one key, water black. And that's really the general rule. It's just, and that would be this key. So if this is a C, that is a C sharp. That's what we call it. Even though the sharp sign would appear in front of the note, we still say the note name first and then the sharp. So it's a C, C sharp, a D, D sharp, an E, E sharp. You say that's an F. And I say yes, it is an F. But it's also an E sharp. You see the names of the keys, they all have multiple names. But we'll get there. Don't let it bother you. That makes sense. So an E to an e, e sharp, F to an F sharp, G to G sharp, an A to an A sharp, a B to a B sharp. A C is a B sharp. Those are the sharps. And the music, what they're doing here is they put the sharp sign right in front of the note that's affected. So here it would be an F, that's an F sharp here. So Instead of playing the F, we simply play the F sharp. So here, they're starting out with fifth finger, you're in C position, right? Starting out with fifth finger, and then the F sharp, the, instead of the F, you simply play the F sharp. Next major, same thing. And a lot of times, not always, a lot of times, as far as the fingering goes, we will use the same finger on the white, that we used on the white key for the black key for the sharp. So here, since fourth finger would play the F, we're using fourth finger for the F sharp. That doesn't apply across the board. You can't go all the way with that. But for right now, it's a good guide to go by. Now the rule is, and I'll repeat this some more because it's so important. When they introduce a sharp sign in a measure like this, like they're doing, it applies to that note name for the rest of that measure and then it's no good anymore. So with that F sharp, that sharp sign in front of the F, it applies to all F's in that staff for the rest of the measure. So if there were more F's somewhere else, wherever, in that staff, they would also be F sharp. But once you cross that measure line into the next measure, it cancels out. It's no good anymore. So in the first measure, they're giving you an F sharp, that sharp sign. But in the next measure, they want another F sharp. They have to give you another sharp sign because the previous sharp sign doesn't count anymore. And then once you go to the next measure, the left hand, that sharp sign doesn't count anymore. Not because it's the left hand, but because it's the next measure. All right, and it's to that staff. If the other staff, that's independent. It has to have its own sharp signs independent. That's different. Yeah. And that's the rule. I'll re repeat that because it can get confusing, and it's very important that you understand that. So let's try this, the dragon, 
and check the notes and the rhythms. So your hand position in the right hand is here, except you're going to use an F sharp, so you're going to go here. Generally, we would keep it here, and you would just adjust it as you need to as you're reading the music. You just uh, move that hand, uh, move the finger where you need it. But since this is all F sharp, we're just going to leave it there. And then the left hand is here, so we're still in a middle C position. Even with the F sharp, it's still a middle C position. So I'll give us four counts, and let's play this together slowly. So you can check your notes and rhythms. Now remember the phrasing, we want a little silence between each phrase. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four.